Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. I hope you're having an amazing day. It is Monday, February 3rd, 2014, and this is Luke, chapter 5. Christ teaches the people from Peter's ship. <coughs> and it came to pass that as the people's people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Gennesaret and saw two ships standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them, and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and talked the people out of the ship. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep, and let down your nets for a draught. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all night, and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. And when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes, and their net broke. Break. And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in their other ship, that they should come and help them. And they came and filled both the ships, so that they began to sink. When Peter... When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knee, saying, Depart, depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he was astonished, and all that were with him at the draught of the fishes which they had taken. And so was also James and John, the son of Zebedee, which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto Simon, Fear not, from henceforth thou shalt catch men. And when they had brought their ship to land, they forsook all and followed him. Christ cleanses the leopard. Verse 12. And it came to pass, when he was in a certain city, behold, a man full of leprosy, who saw Jesus, fell, who, seeing Jesus, fell on his face and besought him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And he put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will. Thou be, I will be thou clean. <clears throat> and immediately the leprosy departed from him. And he charged him to tell no man, but go and shew thyself to the priests, and offer for thy cleansing according as Moses commanded for a testimony unto them. But so much the more went there a fame abroad of him, and great multitudes came together to hear and to be healed by him of their infirmities. And he withdrew himself into the wilderness and prayed. And it came to pass on a certain day, as he was teaching that there was Pharisees and doctrines of the law sitting by, which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was present to heal them. And behold, men brought in a bed a man which was taken with palsy, and they sought means to bring him in, and to lay bef him before him. And when they could not find by what way they might bring him in because of the multitude, they went up on the housetop, and led him down through the tiling, with his couch in the midst before Jesus. And when he saw their faith, and said unto him, Men, thy sins are forgiven thee. And the scribes and the Pharisees began to reason, saying, who is this which speaketh blasphemy, blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God alone? But when Jesus perceived their thoughts, he answered, said unto them, He answering said unto them, What reason ye in your hearts, whether it is, whether it, whether is easier to say, Thy sin be forgiven thee, or to say, Rise up and walk? But that ye may. No, the Son of Man hath power upon earth to forgive sins. He said unto the sick of the palsy, I say unto thee, Arise, and take up thy couch, and go into thine house. And immediately he rose up before them, and took up that whereon he lay, and departed to his own house, glorifying God. And they were all amazed, and they glorified God, and even filled with fear, saying, we have seen strange things this strange things today. He calls Matthew the tax collector, verse twenty seven. 
And after these things, he went forth and saw a publican named Levi sitting on the re sitting at the receipt of custom. And he said unto him, Follow me. And he left up, left all, rose up, and followed him. And Levi made him a great feast in his own house. And there was a great company of public publicans and of others that sat down with them. But their scribes and Pharisees murmured against his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with publicans and sinners? And Jesus answering said unto them, They that are whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. And they said unto him, Why do the disciples of John fast often and make prayers, and likewise the disciples of the Pharisees? But thine eat and drink. And he said unto them, Can you make the children of the bride chamber fast while the bride while the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them, and then shall they fast in those days. And he spoke also a parable unto them. No man putteth a piece of new garment upon upon an old as otherwise then both the new maketh a rent and the piece that was taken out of the new agree agreeeth not with the old and no man putteth new wine in old bottles else the new wine will burst the bottles and be spilled and the bottles shall perish but new wine must be put into new bodies and both are preserved no man hath also having drunk old wine straightway desireth new for he saith the old is better and that's Luke chapter 5 for Monday February 3rd 2014 peace be in you my brothers and sisters may the Lord have mercy on us all if you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, now is the perfect time. Cry out to him. Jesus, come to me. Forgive me. I repent of my sins. Wash me pure with thy blood. Make me new. Make me reborn. You put a new body, a new spirit into a new body, not into the same old body. When you accept Christ as your Lord, you are reborn into a new body. Peace be in you, my brothers and sisters. May the Lord have mercy on us all. I love you guys. God bless.